What's going on RV world? This is Cam Hilliard from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge. I'm staying in front of the 2023 Winnebago Mini Winnie 26T. So before we jump into my favorite floor plan in the Mini Winnie, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on your post notifications so you can stay updated with the latest and the greatest that the RV industry has to offer. So without further ado, we are going to jump right inside of this Mini Winnie. Okay, so before we go inside, I forgot something, which you might have grown accustomed to. Maybe I do that a lot. I'm not going to say I do, but I'm not going to say I don't. So, you probably noticed this beautiful full body paint that we have on the Mini Winnie. So, recently we've been ordering our Mini Winnies, most of them, not all of them. Like the, the views we talked about a week or two ago, we order all of those fully loaded pretty much. The Mini Winnie, we typically do the same, but we order some that are more entry level as well. Now, this 26T is fully loaded. So it's got the full body paint. So not only does full body paint look a lot prettier and feel better and, and, and basically, it's, I mean, it's more expensive, but why is full body paint better than say something with decals? So full body paint is better because it's actually painted on there. Instead of stickers that make the difference here, stickers that are, are, are stickers for the graphics, it's actually painted. So you know, if you have a coach with decals, like I'm actually, there's one right here that I'm looking at. It's a 2010 that had decals and it was, it, it, people, they kept really good care of it. They, they always wash it. They got it waxed once or twice a year and stored under a cover. So after 13 years, it still looks really nice. But the thing with the full body paint, so you're going to pay more, more for it up front. And I would still advise you to maybe, you know, definitely get it washed after every time you camp or wash it yourself. Um, Probably get it waxed once a year, just as a just as a protective coating, just to be safe. Um, but moral of the story: full body paint is going to stay looking a lot better. It's going to stay looking good for a lot longer than what your normal RV with the decals will have. So full body paint costs more, but it helps your resale value and it keeps it looking good for a really really long time. So also. They have the beautiful chrome mirrors on this one of Mini Winnie. So the mirrors extend far, so that's good that you have the upper and lower mirrors. That's pretty standard. Now, when a Bago does, they put the mirror on the, or I'm sorry, your camera on the end of the mirror instead of what a lot of manufacturers will do and put your your camera right here. So whenever you're getting the side view and you hit your blinker, you kind of get a view of the shell. With the camera being on the mirror, you don't really have that. So you get a much better viewing angle when you hit that blinker. So you just feel a lot more comfortable when you're driving. So that's just a couple things on the outside. I mentioned this is fully loaded. So we have the hydraulic leveling jacks underneath. Um, and then we have the upgraded interior as well. So we're going to go ahead and jump inside and show you why I love this floor plan so much. Okay, so I'm inside the 2016 Mini Winnie now. So like I said, this is my favorite floor plan the Mini Winnie makes now. It used to be the 33 or 31 G uh, or they yeah, used to call it a 31 G, which is the bunk floor plan. Now they call it a 31 H. Um, I used to really, really love that floor plan. I still like it, but the 26 C has just grown on me a lot. I like the way that it's laid out. So you have two slides on this coach. Both are going to be on your driver's side. So you've got one in the living area and one in your bedroom. So I like that they're on, on the driver's side instead of your passenger side because it gives you all that open room on the passenger side for a big spacious awning so you can spend time out there and not feel crammed in anything like that. So I really, really like that. So you can get the 26T with um, a jackknife sofa or the recliners. I prefer the recliners in this model just because I think you have plenty of seating and sleeping space otherwise. So I really, really like the recliners here. You've got a console in the middle to store your remote. Um, they even have a USB plug and then you're actually they have Wow, they actually have four USB plugs. I don't know if that's new for the 23s. I, I feel like it was two last time, but four separate USB plugs in there so you can charge all your devices and then some. Um, storage above this, you've got the windows with your MCD roll shades to pull down and, and give you some blackout light in here, or some black, black out the light. Um, also, the U-shaped dinette I'm a fan of as opposed to just your across from each other dinette. So I really like the U-shaped because it's comfortable, it's nice to lounge in, and then also when it makes down to a bed, it makes a little bit bigger bed. Um, so I really like that. You can see the cockpit area here in the 2023s. It's the same chassis that they did on the 2022s, the new V8, Godzilla chassis they call it. So much more powerful engine than what was the V10. You've got more tow capacity on this. You can tow 7,500 pounds. Uh, you also got a lot of creature comfort features like your adaptive cruise, um, your lane assist and all that cool stuff. I also like that you have a big screen here. You can do Apple CarPlay there or the Android Auto, I think it's called. Um, so you can do that. I like that area. Now you cannot 
swivel these seats. Um, if I have a, really a, a con to this floor plan, the only negative I can really think about um, is not the swiveling. That doesn't really bother me because you have plenty of seating. It's really just the fact that you have your your dinette is right and right behind your passenger seat so you can't recline that passenger seat too much so you're pretty upright it's not that bad um it's definitely not anything that would stop me from buying this or camping in this rv but uh it is something that like i said if i had to pick one thing that i, I really just don't love about it that's probably it everything else is is really really cool in this so you've got the big tv here you've got your dvd or blu-ray player there um I love the bunk space here. This is pretty standard on class C, on the gas class C. They have this big bunk space. So I really like that. It's honestly the biggest bed in here, so it's very comfortable sleeping. But I love the big TV. So I mentioned that a second ago, but I really love the TV because it comes out on a swivel. You can watch it comfortably from a couple different places. And I talked about the storage that is above the recliner. So these are really nice, good size cabinets, but you've got even more space up here. So I mean these are huge. This is your that's your front window shades there. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are, these are huge. So I really, really like that. So we're going to flip around, show you the kitchen area, show you the fridge, big old sink that you've got in there, as well as the oven. Let's check that out. Okay. So we're in the kitchen area now. So it's a little bit smaller kitchen area than you might have in like your 31K floor plan mini winnie, but still good size. I like that it's kind of like in this little nook here. So big, deep sink, big, uh, big sink faucet here. I like that as well. But yeah, this sink is, it's huge. So you don't, um, I looked. I looked everywhere. I felt. I felt like I remember seeing a sink cover on the last model that we got, but maybe not. So you don't have a sink cover for this. That's something that you can build pretty easily to add countertop space. But if there was, I'm just adding more things. So that's one thing that I don't. I don't love that doesn't come with one, but that's I can build one of those in 15 minutes. That's not really that big of a problem to me. So you have an oven, which I do like. I don't necessarily cook a whole lot in the oven when I camp, but it is a good thing to have in case my wife wants some cookies. Uh, late at night, she does seem to like the chocolate chip. Um, and then we've got also our three burner stove here. So pretty standard burners, but I like the way they lay it out. We've got a convection microwave up here. I'm sorry, this actually, this is not convection on this. You got your microwave up here. More storage this way. And wow, that is deep. I mean, you can, wow, you can fit a ton of stuff in there. Now you've got a vent here to help vent out whenever you're cooking. And then you've also got your refrigerator here. So this is still the 110. And, got, and an LP refrigerator that has been coming in the Mini Winnie for years and years. I would love it if they went to a 12 volt. This still gets the job done, no problem. You're not gonna have really, really any issues with it. Uh, it. Just doesn't cool quite as fast as a 12 volt. But still, it fits the character, fits the mold. It looks beautiful nonetheless. So we're gonna move over here a little bit. I want to show you they actually have a leaf that pops up to give you even more counter space. So I shifted over here a little bit to in front of our control center, also to show you this leaf that they have. So this is, man, this is heavy. This is solid. But yeah, this adds to the countertop space. So whenever I was cooking and preparing anything, I would leave this up and then just drop it right back down. No problem. Now we've also got our control center behind me. So we've got our 12 volt tank heaters on here. So that's your heaters on the holding tanks. They're going to keep them from freezing. We've also got a 1000 watt inverter, our two slide out control heaters, uh, two slide out controls here. Uh, we got a gas hot water heater, your water pump, and then your tank monitor here. It's also your generator start and stop is here. So this is a 4,000 watt uh, quiet Onan generator, quiet gas Onan generator. So big fan of the Onan, of course. It's pretty standard now. Most people would not get anything other than Onan. But I like that. It's all put right, nice and convenient here. And then you've even got more storage right here so this is a closet space that actually you can open up from the bedroom side as well so if you had your door closed here you can access the closet still and you can access the closet from this side so we're going to move into the bedroom and the bathroom area and show you a feature that i think you're going to really like okay so i'm in the bedroom area of our 2016 now so we have our tv here so i've got a mounted tv um it's till it's at a bit of an angle so it's nice and good it's it's nice angle to watch on whether you're on this side or that side of the bed now you've also got 110 plugs on either side of the bed also usb so this side has just usb that side has usb and your your 12 volt cigarette lighter in case you wanted to put something else back here um and then you've got a little shelf here on both sides so you could put like a CPAP or a water bottle or a notepad i know i keep a notepad on my bed so when i think of ideas i can jot them down late at night so you could do that um, you've also got tons of storage up here. I mean, storage, storage everywhere here. Ton beautiful cabinetry and lots of storage space. Now, I really like the headboard here too and the lights that are underneath. It makes it feel 
really luxurious honestly it's, it's, it's a very nice feel back here um, now we've also got a vent here that could be useful if you need to air things out after the shower um, and then you've got two windows on either side that I like as well now this if you can't tell in the video this is your second slide out so when the slide comes in you will fold this bed over and the slide will come in just like that so not really going to use this when you're traveling you're mostly going to spend your time up front there but if you had to you still have that space there i guess you could you could store stuff or even just come back here and lounge if you wanted to but this will be folded up when your slide is in so our bathroom is to the right so i want to show you that okay so i'm in the bathroom now right at first well i'll get to this door in a second this is crazy you have a real medicine cabinet in here which i really like or toothpaste cabinet whatever you have it i like that that that's very convenient to have there so like i said there's tons of storage and cabinet space and drawers all over this class c so i really like that um so behind me we have the shower so pretty good sized shower nice skylight above um it's got the nautilus shower curtain similar to what they have in the winnebago view uh, actually it's probably the exact same um aside from a different height um so basically this squeegees this curtain when it goes in so it won't mold or mildew so i really really love that they're super easy to use too and you don't have to worry about a shower curtain banging around back here also more storage here for maybe hand towels toilet paper your toilet chemicals um you've got a toilet paper rack here and even more storage down here so the door here right when you look at this you might think oh man it must have some weird like curved door that like shrinks the bathroom it actually has a two-piece door that folds out into a 90 angle a 90 degree angle so this is a big rectangular bathroom so it's actually really really spacious so all you do to fold it you're going to unbutton that safety strap slide it this way and i'll close you out okay so this was the 2016 mini winnie i hope you liked it as much as i did so there were a couple things just wanted to highlight so we've got our full body paint we've got our hydraulic leveling jacks push of a button hwh leveling jacks is that easy so also we have there's some stores I'm, I'm noticing now that i forgot to point out but to the left of your refrigerator that's your pantry store so you have two separate cabinets that have pull out drawers in both of them you can store spices snacks all that cool stuff so i forgot to mention that but that is a great thing to have so like i said the tail of the tape in this mini winnie is tons of storage and open floor plan really really nice so we appreciate you stopping by as always and never forget enjoy the journey Hey there, thanks for watching this video. So we want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.